once they have been offloaded from here, right now, they will go to the marshalling yard at uh, Mombasa West Station, which is about uh, four kilometers from here. And then uh, they will be checked so that they can start their journey uh, towards Nairobi, where they will be taken to Nairobi marshalling yard, where again, they will go through a thorough inspection now on land to ensure that uh, the performance indicators which uh, we had specified are uh, actually met uh, properly. But before they came here, of course, our engineers were in China for a period of about eight weeks in the factory. And uh, in that time, they were able to witness the fabrication exercise from the beginning uh, where they make the underframe until the painting part of it and they ensured that uh, what was shipped here is what they had witnessed. So today then is a very important day because it's a big milestone for this SGR project. It is an indicator really that uh, we are going to be able to meet the deadline of 1st June 2017 uh, because out of the total uh, locomotives we have a total of uh, 40, 56 locomotives already there was a first batch which came uh, early January, around 6th of January, and the six have come now. So we are still remaining with the 44 locomotives uh, to arrive here. The 44 locomotives, we are expecting out of that, 12 of them will be coming uh, uh, towards uh, mid-March, 12 of them, and uh, the rest, 36, will be here between uh, mid-March and uh, May uh, 2017. So we, we will have a complete shipment. In the next shipment also, we are expecting a very major uh, shipment of wagons. There will be another 230. Passenger locomotive here is moving at an average of 120 kilometers per hour. Today along Mombasa Road, uh, what is the average speed, uh, if you may ask yourself? To get from uh, Mombasa to Nairobi is about uh, between 50 and 60 kilometers per hour. If a locomotive is going to move at uh, 120, uh, an express train, it will be able to arrive from here to Nairobi between four and five hours. And that is quite commendable at this stage. In China, of course, there are high-speed trains which move at 350 kilometers per hour. But the kind of uh, crowd that is moving, it is in millions per day. We don't have adequate passengers to actually move at that high speed. Uh, I, I believe we don't need it now. There will come a time when we shall need it. And uh, we have to start from uh, you know one step to get to the next step. Yes, our 60 uh, wagons which will be arriving and uh, that will be uh, very soon, within the month of uh, February. So the project is actually on course, and uh, God willing, uh, we will ensure that uh, the project is completed on time, and we are happy with that development. Thank you. And we believe that uh, the 95 percent is going by road. would want standard gauge to come and then help us to achieve the desired model shift to move up to upwards of 40, 50 percent of cargo by rail in order that uh, then we can be able to save on the maintenance works that we have to keep doing on Mombasa Road, the accident that we keep uh, having, the destruction on uh, cargo, pollution in all those. So the meter gauge will remain uh, operational up to the year 2031 when the concession will expire. The, the meter gauge is suffering, they are doing a lot more hours than they ought to. Uh, previously they should have been able to do 12 hours is decent time now they are doing 17 18 hours which is making it a very inconveniencing service the service offering that uh, SGR is bringing on board is a, a four and a half hour service between Mombasa and Nairobi and all we are doing is to provide an alternative but people still use the roads they use buses people still fly but we are providing another uh, more convenient high capacity uh, uh, railway facility to be able to give people a choice and as we go along, then we'll be able to assess uh, 
uh, what service not to operate or how to realign and make sure that, uh, that both passenger services and freight services are offered as uh, the customer requires. Investor.